Hello and welcome back to another show. I'm Sid. If you're new here, consider subscribing, liking, leaving a comment, all that good stuff. I just passed 26 subscribers and I'm on my way to 30 now, which is sick, awesome, dope, fresh. Uh, if you are already subscribed, thanks for watching. I appreciate it. Uh, welcome back. Let's just jump right into it. So in today's video, I'm going to be showing you this tap to change effect with the eyes. I've got three here, three different colors. Uh, I've already made a video about this where I went more into detail about how I created the files in GIMP. It's just one eye, one file for the eyes, which I then duplicated twice. I imported all of those into Spark AR and just changed the colors a little bit. If you want those files, if you want the download link to this file, it's in the description below. Or you can just go check out that video to find out how to make your own. Uh, but yeah, let's get straight into it. I'm going to show you how to create this patch, which will allow the, for the actual interaction. And then this patch here, which will, upon opening the filter, show some instructions at the start just so the user knows how to interact with it that being said let's pause this create a new project and get straight into the news so the first thing you want to do is take your textures that we've finished creating in photoshop or gimp or whatever and import them into your assets panel you won't be using them immediately they will come in handy just to have them there it's also uh, worth renaming them because if you're using the same thing duplicated then it might get a little bit complicated uh, next we want to add some face meshes to our scene so we we'll click add object uh, face mesh which will appear automatically inside of this face tracker now we want to add two more of those for our two for our red black and white eyes we'll rename them white black red and then you want to control click all three of them over here where it says eyes and mouth and these are checked for face tracking you want to uncheck the eyes which will give you this kind of completely flat stretched out sort of eye look which is what we want right now it hasn't done my mouth although you can do that if you like but because there's nothing drawn there it, it won't make any difference so i'll just i'll check that back up again for the time being so now you want to oh, now you want to come over here uh, and add material layers for each of these which we're going to rename accordingly. So we've got white, black, and red material layers. And now you want to control click all of these, control select all of these, and up here under shader type, you see the eyes here are a little bit like stretched out, kind of blurry, not looking the way you'd want. If you come over here to shader type and switch it from standard to flat, that will create a just neutral, uh, a neutral flat uh, color plane without any light reflection at all. So that's the same now on all three of these layers. Uh, and once we add our textures in, um, white eyes, black eyes, and red eyes, what you'll see is we now have three uh, sets of white eyes. There's no interaction yet. You can come down now and change the colors of these. So we'll change the black eyes to black and the red eyes to red. And you'll be able to see it once I do the red eyes because it's the top layer on the on the face tracker. It's the one that's sitting right on top. So once I change it, you'll be able to see that now I have red eyes. But still no clicking, still no user interaction. So what you want to do now is you want to open up our patch editor. We'll double click in there and we're going to add a screen tap. So if you just search screen tap, I always search for screen wrap for some reason. Screen tap, which is basically just simple user interaction. There's a whole bunch of these, like you can have blinking changes the eye color, opening your mouth, something like that. But for now, we'll just use screen tap because it's the simplest way to test it on a device. Yeah, so now we've got a screen tap you want to drag out from here, and we're going to add a counter to our scene. And basically, the counter will iterate uh, in ones uh, and move, and as long as and like as long as the number is the value that is checking on the iteration, it will cycle through a bunch of options. In this case, white, black, and red eyes. So now what you want to do is come over here to count, drag that out, and we're going to add an equals exactly. Now equals exactly is a uh, part of this logic pack, which includes a bunch of like uh, functions and if else statements, things like that, which are basically used in functional programming languages. But here they work pretty much the same way. So we're going to add that equals exactly which is the when two when when two numbers are exactly the same 
this thing will happen. Uh, we're gonna copy that twice. Mm, we're gonna add those underneath. Okay, and uh, now we wanna take our three meshes that we've got set up here. And under visibility, we could choose to just make them all invisible. Or we could click this little orange box uh, that adds them to, uh, as patches into our patch editor. So now we can connect them up with the rest of these patches to create a kind of circuit. Let's do that. Let's connect this and this and this. Alright, now as you can see, they're all visible and it does tap through, but it's not looking quite how we want yet. So, what we're going to do is come over to the counter. Oh, sorry, we're going to come over, yeah, come over to the counter, which is currently set at 5. As you can see, it iterates through. So it's on 1 now, 2, 3, 4. And then it goes back to zero because all sequences in programming begin at zero. So even if you have five here as your maximum count, basically that will go zero, one, two, three, four, and then back to zero again. Uh, because we only have three things to switch between, we're gonna change that count number to three. We'll leave this at zero, and then we'll change this to one, and this to two. As you can see, these have now gone invisible because we're currently iterated at zero on the count when I click on the screen, it goes to one, this becomes invisible and the black eyes are now on top layer. Same with the red. So now I can tap through and I've got my tap to change eye color thing going on, which is pretty sick. That honestly is pretty much the entire effect. I'm gonna now show you very quickly how to add some instructions to your scene. Come up here to device, under custom instructions, I'm gonna create instruction on opening. Now that will add this patch onto your scene into your patch editor and they're all stuck together and they will end up just sort of landing randomly <laughs> and it's just which can be annoying so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to drag those somewhere where we can see it all okay so now we've got runtime which is for as long as the filter is playing and then we have this less than which is uh, another function that basically says for as long as the count here is less than this count here five seconds we will display this instruction on the screen. Right now there's nothing to display because there's no token in this box, but if we come up here to project, edit properties and capabilities, under the instructions tab, custom instructions, you wanna add and search for cap to change. Although like I say, there are just dozens of these that you can play around with. Uh, same with everything really, this is uh, basically a sandbox if you're for your imagination so we've copied and pasted that into our uh, little token thing here and now you see our count has started we're at 12 seconds right now which is more than five which means when I hit play oh no it just restarted <laughs> but yeah when I hit play and restarts the count begins again and when it hits five it disappears at the bottom let me try that one more time real quick see the tick the check is on the count is going this is here and once it hits five seconds it's gone and I can still tap to change that is honestly pretty much the entire effect it's quite simple uh, let me just spread it out so that you can see what I'm doing that is all of the patches that I used this is the effect uh, I've been Sid <laughs> you've been watching thanks leave a like leave a comment don't forget to subscribe I think I fucked the audio up there anyway uh, I don't know peace out see you next time